Handy resource indeed, your field guard. I'm most pleased to be included. Gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. Toujours pure. Revelio. Alohomora. Good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? That must be the pedestal. Professor Fitzgerald, can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Neve. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. You must move swiftly and cautiously. In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. straight ahead. Find me if I...
This is my chance. I'm coming, Neve. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. I'd best move while I can. Neve must be here somewhere. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. Nothing this way, but more danger. There must be another way to find you. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. Close tight. That doorway looks like the only safe way forward. my chance. That's the way forward. Can this be? I think I'm invisible. They can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. This is the way forward. Finally free. Now where are you, Neve? You have outrun death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. Defender! Bombarda!
Bombarder, defender, Depulsor, defender, Bombarder, Depulsor. Bombarder, defender. Come 
Father, Defender, Depulsa. Protego. Bombarder, Defender. Bombarder, Defender. Depulsa. Far from finished, pass through the mourners and... She's gone. Oh, poor Neve. <laughs> we won't be the same without her. You found me, but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Remember that as you witness my memory. What you did for your father was remarkable, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits... You sound like Percival! And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw again. what I did for my father. Only have imagined the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. What are you doing? 
This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. But you are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed was Isadora inhaling painful emotions. She was. I found it disturbing. But how did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizard kind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganag? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey.
Vernon suddenly informed his game of musical chair. Care to get to one? Oh, drat! I'm not ready for Professor Mint's lecture. I've got my pillow. In today's lesson, we will cover a truly thrilling event. The Goblin Rebellion of 1752 and all its triumphant tragedy. But more specifically, we will address the devastating effects it had on the wizard milling industry. Throughout the many goblin battles, countless wizard cloaks were lost. Actually, we do know the number. 632. But history occurs outside the classroom. And look, it's time for my constitutional. One can practically osmose the history flowing through Hogwarts. I think the professor wants us to follow him. Now for a stroll to the bell tower. If you fail history of magic, you're along with the rest repeat of the castle, it was the, completed the in class, the late early Middle Ages. The hall and the bell towers that loom above it contain myriad interesting artifacts. Good to see you again. Recovered from that nasty bout of dragon pox, have we? I, uh, that wasn't me, Professor. I'm new here. Are you? Well then, uh, welcome. No doubt you're eagerly anticipating my analysis of various wizarding councils, codes, statutes, and of course, goblin rebellions. Not all goblins are rebellious. Some venture into wizarding politics, such as Irgit the Ugly. Some are talented artisans, such as Bragbor the Boastful. Did you say Bragbor? I know that name. Lord Gok said he was an ancestor of Ranrock. Hmm. Well known for his metalwork. I would imagine much of his goblin wrought iron and silver has survived to this very day. Where were we? Oh, oh yes. <clears throat> Back to our class topic for today. Grimbald Weft. Another notable historical figure. Uh, he's right nearby. Rebellion. Hmm, interesting. But not Grimbald Weft. All students introduce themselves. No, that's not Grimbald Weft. These bits of broom are all that's left of a witch called. This is a centuries-old likeness of Pangadon. Incendio! People have always loved that. Wagadu's history is, well, Rebellion. a bit different than that of Hogwarts. Oh, yes. I see you found Grimbold Weft. Yes, I rather enjoyed seeking him out. The thrill of the scholarly pursuit. I know the feeling quite well. Now, let's turn our attention to the agreeability and general good nature of Sir Afbuddle. He's also nearby. See what you can learn from him for your next assignment. Standing in eternal but symbolic watch over the oh, bell tower, a retinue of loyal knights, or rather, 
statues. Abandoning class to wander the halls is in keeping with Tina, Professor. This unassuming smudge is rumoured to be the location of the very first successful use of bombard. I suppose successful is a relative term since whoever passed it. His fame was not won so by vanquishing foes in single combat, nor by slaying bloodthirsty dragons. Rather in training... At least we're out of the classroom. Elements where his warm and approachable demeanor was celebrated by old friends and newcomers alike. Where can I find that friendly knight you mentioned earlier? Oh yes, Sir Athpuddle, or rather the statue of Sir Athpuddle. It can be found amongst the other statues of knights. It's easy to identify, as it's been enchanted to wave at those who take the time to seek it out. Rebellion. In all the centuries that Hogwarts has existed, not once has it collapsed. Our students often complain about the many staircases at Hogwarts, uh, but they never bother me. Revelio. As one would expect, Hogwarts contains no narthexes, since obviously those would not be found in castles. Hogwarts founders could... Professor Binns, I found the statue of Sir Afpuddle. Ah, well done. Alas, Sir Afpuddle's affability was his undoing. Died instantly trying to befriend a basilisk. Eye contact is not always to be encouraged. So beloved was he that even some goblins mourned his passing. Of course, that did not bode well with the rest of the goblins, most of whom could not abide mourning the loss of a wizard. Pity goblins and wizards can't get along. True. But imagine how dull my lectures would be without goblin rebellions to discuss. Mm, history does tend to repeat. It is a series of patterns, a thought both comforting and disconcerting. The wise student, such as yourself, will learn from it. History is written by those who do their schoolwork, so they say. Or at least, I like to say that. some exciting news to share. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you had an idea. Indeed, Deke does. 
Uh, Deke knows that you want to learn about all sorts of beasts, and Deke recently heard rumors of a phoenix nest in a nearby mountain. A phoenix nest? I wonder if it belongs to the phoenix Natty mentioned, the one Harlow and the poacher pack are after. Deke would not doubt it. If Deke has heard of it, surely the nasty poachers have as well, which means it could be in danger. Well, I'd better go and rescue it then, hadn't I? Deke thinks so. So majestic a beast should not fall into such vile hands. Deke is not sure why, but Deke feels that saving a phoenix might help to make amends for what happened with Deke's prior master. Deke hopes that you are able to find the phoenix and bring it to the room where it will be safe. Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? When I was a girl, I wanted to work with you. Is everything all right? Oh, bless you! Oh, thank you for asking. I'm Betty, Betty Bugbrook, and no, everything is not all right. It's my dear friend Hazel. Oh, she's in trouble. Hazel? Yes. Oh, she's a unicorn. Known her for years. Years. She doesn't like to leave the forest, so I visit her once a week to brush out her mane and bring her some treats. <gasps> her coat is glorious. Well, the last time I saw her, we were violently attacked by a pack of wolves. Hazel, loyal friend that she is, leapt in front to protect me, and in the process, I fear she may have been injured. I'm sorry to hear that to help her, but she seems to have gone into hiding. Out of fear, I'd imagine. I know you Hogwarts students learn a fair bit about caring for beasts. Perhaps you could find my unicorn friend and get her somewhere safe so that she can heal. I'll keep an eye out for your unicorn friend and take her to safety if I see her. Oh, you've a good soul. I can always tell. Please, don't risk your own safety, though. I don't know precisely where she is, but I can tell you that her den is north of Hogsmeade. And although I haven't been able to brush her lately, I imagine she still has the brightest, most beautiful coat of her entire herd. Remember, you'll know her by her brilliant coat and be warm. I'll take off her body. I need to look for a unicorn with a beautifully bright coat. It sounds as if she's in trouble.
castle. Must have been quite stately in its time. Hazel must be here somewhere. Do cooperate, won't you? Get on your head when our expectations is fight like I can take Hazel back to a vivarium now. I should let Madame Bugbrook know she's safe. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Oh, I don't think anyone at the middle. Madam Bugbrook, I found your unicorn friend, Hazel. Oh, what a relief! Is she all right? Are you all right? Do you have a safe place for her to stay? We're both fine. And I have a safe place for her at Hogwarts. You have a kind heart, you do. I'm relieved and thankful that you'll take care of her. I shall miss my sweet pointy pony, but I know she's safer away from the poachers. <gasps> Do give her a nice brushing for me, won't you? Take good care of Hazel now.
Nice to see you, my young friend. We'll need to get across this gap somehow. Learn the error of your ways. Hi, Wing! 
go! the high wing. the high wing. I should investigate. Bombard, confringo. Glaces. 
Sword like it. 